name is Artastic and in today's episode we are diving in on exploring are you ready for this dinosaurs and did you know that dinosaurs lived over 200 200 million years ago that's a really 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 long time ago now, dinosaurs um, have to live through a variety of eras throughout their time on this planet where they walked around and did dinosaur stuff, I guess. Um, <laughs> now, although we don't know every detail about dinosaurs, um, scientists have, through studying fossils and the environment at the time that they were alive, through uh, making observations and soil, um, and just other fossils, such as plant fossils, they have determined that a variety of details or made guesses or hypotheses about what dinosaurs might have been like. Well, we can guess on how big they were and how big they, their feet were based on fossils of their skeletons and their footprints. So they can understand some of that um, and the structure that what the, their bodies might have looked like. Now they can't determine the colors of them because we don't know, we weren't there. But we can make a lot of guesses, or they can make a lot of guesses, and let us know about dinosaurs by studying um, their fossils and the, the evidence that has been buried beneath the soil over many, many, many millions of years. Now, the scientists that study those wonderful beasts, reptiles, very big ones, are called paleontologists. Paleontologists are people who study fossils. So we're going to do our own discoveries of dinosaurs today in this episode, and we're going to dive deep, and we're going to learn about some different types of dinosaurs, and we're going to draw and make art of dinosaurs because dinosaurs are really, really, really cool and I love them and I'm sure you do too and that's why you're watching and if you love dinosaurs make sure you give a like on this video so we can see how many people truly love dinosaurs let's make some art Brontosaurus, and this is a Stegosaurus, this is a Spinosaurus, here's my favorite, the Velociraptor, I mean who doesn't love a good Velociraptor, and finally, can you guess what this one is? It is the T-Rex, good job, alright I know, it is time to head on over to the art studio because we're going to draw a bored brontosaurus and then we're going to make an artwork of a portrait of a t-rex making some art i know we're going to do lots of stuff so grab something to draw with and something to draw on and we're going to begin with drawing the bored brontosaurus and then we're going to make our t-rex art let's head on over to the art studio all right let's make a bored brontosaurus brontosaurus bored brontosaurus Let's do it this side because it's a little cleaner. All right. Let's restart. All right, let's draw our board brontosaurus. What's at its head? Big curvy line at the very top, and a forehead. We'll add a snout. Next, we'll draw a nice big long line down on either side for the neck. 
stopping the top one shorter than the top for the front. Okay, and back. And curve it up into a tail. And then we'll bring that tail back in. Like that. Next, we'll add a leg in the front and a big letter C for the back leg. smaller so they appear to be farther away. We can add some toes on our brontosaurus. And then we gotta make this brontosaurus board. So let's first add a straight line mouth and a nostril. I like to add a little curve on the corner of the mouth. And now we're gonna do a board eye. So we're gonna do a straight line across. <laughs> the U and then we'll add a pupil and we color it in leaving just a little white so it looks super bored. We'll add some texture on the top of its head and then we'll add some hatching lines for some texture. You can even add spots. Once you're done, and once you're done, you can go ahead and color it in. And of course, you can color it in using your favorite colors and art making medium. Shade it in with some gray, and just like that, your brontosaurus is done. All right, we're going to make our T Rex heads. We're gonna draw a nice big eye. Big circle and a small circle in the eye. 
And then we'll color in the eye, leaving those circles white. farther away, a dark circle, and line out towards each nostril, curving line up and around, wavy line up to the back, wave it back out.
And if you want, you can also add a little bit of a background. And just like that, your T-Rex is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.